was the cable channel. Help me out on this one. Well, I think that first of all, the, we're all very appreciative of the um, of the board um, identifying our needs. We, we share that with you, and then allocating about sixty-seven thousand dollars. That was last month's meeting, and we are very appreciative because that can really help us to grow our station. And I think I said that the last time, but I think one of the comments that the board heard and I heard was a comment by Mr. Waddell about us working together. And we really, as you know, the board has really been, whatever we can do to help has been the, kind of their motto. Whether it was safe routes to school or whatever the issue um, issue is, I think uh, Chief has a, 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 um, an event that he wants to share. We, we'll help out in any way we can because we really, they are committed to community. Um, so how can we work together to really um, grow both channel 13 as well as your your channel 22 and so I didn't know if we had could have a conversation about that tonight what were you thinking about but um, certainly um, we have some capacity in terms of uh, talented staff you certainly have capacity for talented staff and uh, I just was trying to figure out ways in which we can work together because 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 the cable stations are just they're arms of each other I mean if I if you had an emergency in town our station goes down and you take over. That, that was always um, part of the uh, intermunicipal agreement that we signed. Um, we, we want to be able to, if, if we reach a certain um, uh, stakeholder in town, we want to be able to advertise your events on our station, So and vice versa, as we do now anyway. Channel 22 covers a lot of the board um, activities. So I, I think that's where we were headed uh, in terms of the cable because it has been a tremendous, tremendous asset to Hampton SAU 90. It, the, the schools love it. The kids love it. They've, they've grown an appreciation now of TV production, and um, they, they, it's been a very, very powerful tool for us in terms of student learning. And that was because of the franchise monies that we were able to, to ac acquiesce. So maybe maybe Jim can share a little bit about his thinking and my thinking was on that specifically was that you know people from the school get together with people with the the 22 group and when we're buying equipment and stuff that we kind of coordinate to make sure we're staying in the same equipment so that one isn't operating on a different system than the others you know and just 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 a little bit more co cooperation or, or, or communication I think I don't think it's necessarily a lack of cooperation I think it's it, it just that communication hasn't been there between you know you've come to the selectmen and stuff and then we've done it and we've sort of bypassed the 22 people and we want to make sure we keep them involved in everything so I just think you know with your group maybe getting together with the 22 <coughs> group and talking through things and working on what equipment everybody's purchasing and how it's you know set up and stuff like that would you suggest that we have a board rep that we meet to go or is it well, right now you it, have John it suffice John Judson has been has attending been going as yeah. our media coordinator John's only part-time as you know yeah. Um, but he's more than willing yeah. to, John and I had a chance to chat after right. the last meeting, and he's more than willing to uh, but do I, th I, I think that, you know, with him, and I think it'll continue to go, and I just think open up communication will more will okay. work fine. I think one of the things we saw was when when you brought your proposal for, you had the, and I probably got it wrong, CNET or C, the, the thing you're replacing. Oh, right. Is that right. CNET? Is that right. Because you had that original Nexus. piece of equipment Nexus. was yours. The Nexus was yours. Right. 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 And in and, and talking right. to our, our cable guys, they also are looking at down the road going to this CNET right. because right. that's the wave of the future. Right. And I think for me it was just didn't know what, you yeah. know, didn't know a CNET from a a note, so. Right. The, the uh, Nexus system couldn't be replaced, and when we knew that we needed to replace it um, in order to have the capacity to run what we were doing, we had to go to that. And right. um, knowing that we couldn't, you know, do anything with Nexus, so. Right. And so, God, and the other thing was is is that we've talked about is your ability. You have your own studio, and I, I believe you're doing that with the school. The with the SA, uh, with the Hampton Academy renovations, um, is there anything beyond that? Well, if the, if you know, that was a, that was huge. We, when we did the initial survey of 
community people. Mm -hmm. We also surveyed the, the kids and the teachers, you know, because this is their this is their environment, and the kids really have just latched on to this um, TV production where they're doing live productions there. Uh, they were actually at a, um, uh, they've actually presented at conferences. They're presenting at the statewide conference at Krista McAuliffe. They were at the, the Massachusetts statewide technology. They were, they blew people away. I mean, these kids have become naturals. And some people say, well, isn't this kind of fluff? Well, frankly, the standards require communication um, for kids. So we know that speaking, listening, and viewing are the standards now in English language arts. And so this is a, just a, a way in which to, to do fit. that, a natural path for the kids. The other piece is, is that when Hampton Academy moved away from being a junior high, part of that was the tech ed program. Remember the, uh, what, what some of us knew as the woodshop program? Those, those programs have somewhat um, gone away, and this program really replaces it. But it's technology-based in terms of the kids um, building components, running and running all the equipment and the machines. So it has replaced it. And, and because of that, Rusty, um, the, um, uh, the committee, the facilities committee that Les referred to um, overall supported a studio, one that would be able to use for the kids, of course, but also be able to use for their meetings. Um, and we'd be able to broadcast our own meetings and have the the, the appropriate um, uh, equipment there to do that job. I think it'd be great. Rick, you have a question? Yeah, I like the idea about having the representative and maybe vice versa. So I think it's a good idea. In terms of the committee? Coming to Channel 22 and maybe 22 going to your meetings or whatever, however it has to be. I think it's a good idea. Keep everybody on the same wavelength. 